it's a time of the year when love is in the air, but don't go searching in a field, don't go leering at the ladies in a library, no, head to your local Tesco's wearing Cabra to find love. I think I'm the only girl who has the cheek of actually uh, calling himself a dating expert. Um, I did a very unusual task last year called 40 Dates in 40 Days. And I wanted to show people that it is actually possible to get a date a day. Now, if that's an expert, I don't know. But what I wanted to show people is the confidence that's needed. And that's why I love this event so much. It's because, you know, this is an event that, you know, you're open to anything, that you can, you know, you never know what's going to happen. We came up with the concept of having a singles night in um, Cabra. This store is brand new to us. We opened it um, late last year, so we wanted to embed it in the community a little bit. What better way to create a little bit of love for, um, for our customers? Uh, we held some singles nights a few years ago, um, and they always went down a little bit well. So what we said was we'd do a speed night or a speed date night with a twist. Um, so here tonight we have our singles um, in the background here. They've signed up. Um, to take part tonight, so it's not random people. Um, and what they're going to do is they're going to take part in some speed dating tonight. Okay, so explain to me what the victims, I mean the singles, <laughs> are going to be doing tonight. Sure. Um, they, they actually are going to go into the store first of all. They have about 10 minutes to pick um, the item in the store from any department whatsoever that best describes their personality. Are you going to, you going to be keeping an eye on shoplifting? <laughs> I hope security's going hope, to be around somewhere. Hope, <laughs> all our guys tonight are in tuxes tonight. They're all having a little bit of romance going on. Um, so yeah, they pick an item that best describes their personality. It can be absolutely anything, so uh, we're kind of excited to see what comes back on that. Ooh. Ooh. It's time for the lads to go and find their Tesco items. Don't do that. I'm looking for some spray. Some spray? What kind of spray? Perfume? Mm, deodorants. I'm gonna go for the links. Pick something classy, come on. I'll pick a new one, it, right? Women like that don't really fall from the sky if you spray that stuff. Yeah. Noel, what are you looking for? I'm going to pick a box of chocolates because it's romantic. Ah, well, and I'm romantic. Very, very quickly, we've got your item for you. It's a balcony bra. Where were you when I needed you five minutes ago? We're channeling Romeo and Juliet, you know, up in the balcony where for Arto Romeo. Where's me balcony bra? And that's me, don't Damien, what have you got? I have a... Uh, I'm mature now, cheese, which is also hot and spicy. Easy singles, because I'm easy and I'm single. Have you got a soft center? I do, yeah. <laughs> what am I looking for? <laughs> well, basically, I want to, you know, help Tesco. You know, the whole campaign is every little helps. And that's what I'm trying to do as well. It takes a lot of guts to walk into a speed dating night and a single night. Some people are vulnerable. Some people genuinely want to meet someone. So my job is, is to help people with their confidence, help them with a bit of flirting, their bit of chemistry. It's now time for something the ladies will all love to do. It's time for them to go shopping. Okay, mouthwash, uh, shampoo, conditioner, anything else? A bottle of wine, okay, a bottle of wine. Pre-made, excellent. Is that, why is that? Gooey Centre? Uh, gooey Centre, sweet and delicious. <laughs> Describes me good. It's all gooey. Excellent. I got a bubble bath. It's not, it's not just a bubble bath, it's a hypoallergenic matey, so no one's going to be allergic to it. Oh, nobody at all because I'm a bubbly person. Okay, you do realise you've got to hand these back now afterwards. <laughs> Valerie, how are you getting on? Because you know you've got it written right there. <laughs> I know, I'm in the middle of my show, but it's a handy just to get a few bargains, you know yourself. <laughs> what about a lighter? Because you're, you're, you're pocket sized, but you're hot. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> they're going to get up on stage then and describe the item that they've picked in the store. So they're going to have a bit of fun saying why they chose the item, what it means about their personality. Kitchen roll. Kitchen roll. Kitchen roll, the ultra absorbent kitchen roll. Why did you pick kitchen roll? Because I'm soft and cooking. <laughs> And we won't say what else. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say what else. <laughs> Vanessa, explain to us the kettle, and it's not just an ordinary no, kettle. It's, it, I, I love the title, Rapid Boil, because that would be like me. I get impatient very quickly, and then once I let my steam off, I calm down again. So it kind of suits the personality. Oh, well, I knew it would cause a few uh, issues, but I chose a pair of insults due to the fact I'm looking for a salmi. Our Mr. Valentine's Night, please give it up for Mr. Daniel Fireteam! Please give it up for our female winner, Pauline! Yeah! 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 
congratulations. Yeah. Uh, you're heading off for a fantastic meal uh, tomorrow night, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, over to PCA tomorrow and just off Grafton Street there. So looking forward to it now, so it should be lovely. Why do you think the two of you were chosen? I don't know, Abbott says something about chemistry and kind of, she's reckoned I had a twinkle in my eye. So. You've got a twinkle in your eye, all right. What about yourself? Uh, I think I think Pauline is like a very approachable person, very easy to talk to, and she's a good-looking girl as well. So. Now it's my turn to have a go. Are you looking for love? Of course, yes. Do you have property or assets in Nama? No. Do you have any money in a Greek bank? No. Do you have a farm with headage? Well, I do. I am from Tipperary. We've got good breeding down there. Loads of acres, hundreds. Do you have any tractor and which type? Of course, a John Deere. Oh my God, a John Deere. I would have loved you even if it was a Massey Ferguson. Marry me, please. Of course, yes. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash entertainment.ie and on Twitter at entertainment.ie.